Hey guys, welcome to Brick Block 45. This is the last spot for now that we have to tear out, as I call it. Thousands upon thousands of 1x4 in dark blue gray. So much. That should complete at least the front tarmac section of the Yavin base. It's a pretty easy task but time consuming so we gotta just tile everything out and then I think we're ordering several thousand parts for that temple because I think Charlie is about to finish the design for that thing. We want to get the tarmac ready and the, uh, the temple will follow which is super exciting actually. Yeah! Uh, this is Mike from the future. Uh, this vlog is actually finished. I mean, the Yavin vlog. So if you guys didn't see it already, hey, you broke, you broke my take. Ah, actually, this Yavin vlog part four is finished. So it should be posted on the channel. I'm gonna leave a link below if you didn't see it already. Um, Charlie did an update on what's been happening, and also there's a huge part in it that's uh, being um, that's telling about the digital design for the Yavin temple. It's massive. We're estimating this at being you know, in the five digit bricks number. So check it out, links below. What do you have here? Come on, come on. What well, we it? just got some new electronics for the big tower. I hope this isn't like, you know, a premonition. <laughs> Why would you put crazy fire on your electronics? What? It's such a bad name. Because, because like these are the sign. cheaper lights. Yeah. It's like people get them because they're like, oh, Why these are cheaper lights. Oh my God. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> If you brand your electronics, don't call them fire anything. Yeah. Please, that's not Crazy a good idea. Fire. It's not even like... The next task for this place is to get all the Ninjago guys in order. So, I think the best way to go forward, because Star Wars was kind of like chronological because of the amount of minifigures, but with Ninjago, I think we can go by character or by villain or whatnot. So I got Lloyd's. Um, Ramon also pre, kind of pre-sorted the bad guys from different seasons, so those are the ghost guys. How do you call them? The Moro? I don't remember. Um, the ghost guys, we got the shark army from the movie, we've got all the um, skeleton guys. Oh my god, I, I never watched Ninja Go season, so I'm not really sure. Uh, these were called the school camp. And also we got the Nindroids, and we have the stone army and the serpentine. All of these guys are pretty much pre-sorted, so easy to go. I got to just gonna build a bunch of stands for them, and Ninja God display should look pristine. Awesome. I also found the missing droids from our Star Wars collection. We packed them in like a special bag. In one of the boxes in the warehouse, I found them. I gotta rebuild them right now, so I gotta go in this place. And that's almost it for the Star Wars uh, collection. It's cool to unpack things from the old studio, actually. You find stuff. Everything is back in order. Okay, just checking the instructions because I had to break them down. That was a sneak peek of a um, thing we're working on. Possibly the biggest thing we have in the studio, but you're gonna find out quite soon. All right, I gotta build more stands for the Ninja Go displays. A lot of them. Survived. Okay, now we're putting Ninja Go guys onto these. See how they will fit. I think I have like 422 minifigures to fit. Let's go. You got it, Mr. Glassman.
Charlie and Jack are working on getting some of the lower shelves out so we can put some big models. We still have that 8080 from uh, Jay to, to be reassembled after the move. And the last case here will actually host Minecraft. So you guys remember this stand? This is the entire Minecraft collection that we um, presented in one of the previous videos. And actually we have to make another one of these to accommodate the upcoming Minecraft fix. Because I think even this wave doesn't really fit on that stand. This is the first time I see you feeling anything. Dude, I was dusting like for <laughs> hours the other day. How do you like your new task, come on? It's, it's great. It's so much fun. I'm enjoying myself. That's a lot of one by ones. Yeah. Uh, I thought tiling uh, the tarmac was tedious. I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. Look how many you've made already. I know. So nice. Explanation, uh, he's doing those um, fronts of the Minecraft display. Because we gotta get a build second one, right? Da, da, da. Yeah, we're gonna get yeah. a second one for all the new releases and stuff. Good luck. <sighs> Very fun task. <laughs> da, 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 da. I always like to drool a bit over the newest mock in our vlogs because this is the thing that I've been waiting for and I think many of you guys have as well. This is the LAAT, Low Altitude Assault Transport from the Clone Wars Republic gunship, uh, the common name is, and uh, yeah, it's in our web store. Check it out, Jack also made a video on this one. It's really awesome, I think it's uh, one of the coolest models by far from the Star Wars universe and definitely one we're super happy to have in our collection. She's uh, just here in this last of those displays. So you guys can see that's the uh, Kylo Ren, the big UCS Kylo Ren from Mirko Sopelsa, a bunch of our uh, Jarex um, TIE Fighters, uh, there's the Star Wars thingy and the um, some of these mocks will end up in the last of these um, corner displays. Do, 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 do. Update on this room quickly. Feels so empty, huh? Yeah. So, what was happening is that uh, Ramon was clearing off the tables in preparation for setting the city back up. So what we have left on the tables are the cars from the city that usually prepare the city. In the old studio there is a chopper flying over the studio, so forgive me the sound right now. Okay, let him pass through. Yep, those are the perks uh, of living next to the marine base. Anyhow, we got the modulars up. Some of these are broken down, like those are the creator ones. Uh, I think it's a custom, actually. Uh, yeah, this one is from that uh, Avengers set. The Infinity War set, awesome. We have some creators, creators, creators of the Ghostbusters. All this stuff, so we kept those in this room. And most of this stuff ended up there. Hold on. Yes, so we uh, introduced the old shelves from the old studio, those were like kind of a backup shelves and right now they are keeping all these sets that really do not have space for this place as of this moment. I mean there are some like cool Star Wars stuff that will be eventually displaying in the, the main build room in the other side of the studio but this is the main area that will be staging some of these sets that are not necessarily used as of this moment so that way we can clear off the tables and rebuild the city so you can see there's plenty of space to start doing that and that is something we're looking forward to obviously once you know Yavin is finished all right my friends so that's gonna be it for this week's vlog i hope you like this update i really enjoy making them for you so you are you know uh, on the same page what's happening in our studio and there is a lot happening we're focusing on a lot of stuff right now thankfully things are going well everything is smooth uh Yavin is growing uh, orders are coming in. We will start, start building that uh, massive temple very, very soon. So that's super exciting. City is gonna get set up again. Just trying to find time for all of this. But things are happening. We're getting rid of the trash. Sets are getting cleaned up. And all this stuff is happening as we speak. So that's awesome. And I hope you guys enjoy the ride. Thank you so much for watching as always. It was Mike, Jack, Ramon and Charlie in this vlog. I think everybody was here. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. There's a jet flying over, so I'm gonna end here right now. Okay, bye. Subscribe and like and click the bell button. Bye-bye. Wow.